Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to review this liquid lipstick that I found which is according to me the cheapest liquid lipstick in the drugstore. Now, before I get started, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that little bell next to the subscription button. It is just that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. I make makeup tutorials, I do a lot of uh, product reviews, I do fashion videos, travel vlogs, cooking videos and so on and so forth. You can click the link right here if you really want to know why you must be a part of my YouTube space. So today I'm going to review the Nika K Matte Liquid Lipsticks. So my sister Pooja when she was visiting and if, if you want to see who Pooja is and you want to know what we were up to you can go and check out the Primark haul that we did together. You guys totally enjoyed it and you know you can see exactly what to buy from Primark. It was a Primark accessory giveaway that I did. So stay tuned for another giveaway for that you need to subscribe to my channel anyway when we went to beauty base at Stratford Westfield a beauty base is a place at Stratford and I think few of the malls have beauty base it is a it is a store that is filled with skincare products and lots of perfume including makeup and a lot of high like you know you would say the drugstore American makeup sells at beauty base one of the products that we totally love which i have mentioned is the shade and uh swap this is the makeup color uh swapper so basically you just oh it's a little box which you open it it comes with a rough little sponge and you just brush your makeup tools on it and voila it's just like you've got a clean makeup brush a very nifty little product for you guys to you know go and buy so at beauty base we were talking to one of the girls out there that works and she told us that these are the liquid lipsticks that are always sold out and you know what i always noticed that every time i went to beauty base i used to see this little pile of liquid lipsticks and they were only the unusual colors of you know dark blues and the grays and you know the greens that were left everything else was always sold out and she said that customers keep on coming for these liquid lipsticks now she said that it is only for two pounds obviously it is cheap but what is the best thing about it is the quality of it and it just doesn't dry your lips like every other cheap liquid lipsticks that are there in that shop as well as in the drugstore yeah she said that these were better than the sleek uh, matte liquid lipsticks and that got my interest but this one you do feel that there is a liquid lipstick because of the tackiness but I have to say that it is a comfy liquid lipsticks and oh my lord I am pleasantly surprised fragrance of it I won't say it's like candy but it's like one of those bubblegum flavors to it so it is not very offensive and the colors that I got I managed to get because everything else was sold out we went there three times guys back to beauty base to see if you know they had the liquid lipstick stocked up and finally after Pooja left they stocked up the liquid lipstick and I managed to get you know a few of the liquid lipstick now Turkish rose is what I'm applying right now it's a very dusty rose lipstick with a mauve undertone it's really one of those perfect nude colors that you can wear on an everyday basis and if you are my skin tone to a deeper skin tone this is definitely going to work out beautifully for you this one that I picked up was Jazzberry Jam and it is more of like one of those really bright, intense, you know, purpley pink lipstick. Very much, it's not like a liquid lipstick that I would reach out for, but I just wanted like a pop of color. The other one is Shiraz, which is like a true blue, you know, blue tone red lipstick. So basically, it's like an orange lipstick with a red undertone, I think. Uh, but this reminds me so much of Suede Berry by Lime Crime Guys. I mean, this could be the exact dupe. And this is really pretty. It's one of those, you know, summer shades. If you are someone who's really bold and who wants to experiment in colors and just don't mind, you know, going a little more intense and bold. The last one I picked up was Coco Bean. Now, Coco Bean is like a brown lipstick with a red undertone to it. 
really really pretty it reminds me of those 90s brown lipstick and also reminds me of Salem by Lime Crime it has got that tacky feel but it is not drying my lips but at the same time I do feel like there is a lipstick on my lips this is slightly more obvious than uh, Turkish Rose you know so I think it is because the darker the lipstick or very light lipsticks they tend to you know make themselves a little more prominent on your lips when it comes to texture. For three things that I'm going to tell you what I noticed about the liquid lipstick when you take out the wand you don't it's not a very liquid in its consistency it is very creamy and it that makes it really difficult to you know take a whole blob of it from the bottle when you apply your liquid lipstick you have to you know dip it back into the bottle again and you know keep applying it to just completely finish off your lip so that it's because of how thick the consistency of this liquid lipstick is I also noticed is when you're reapplying this lipstick it is better for you to take out the lipstick that you have if at all you are losing it right into the center after you've eaten something or after you've you know had something to drink and if you see it like you know falling apart or chipping you can reapply it only after taking off your existing uh, liquid lipstick you press your lips you can feel a little bit of a tackiness to it when you apply this liquid lipstick do not press your lips immediately let it dry down for about it takes its time to dry down guys that's also another thing that I've noticed let it dry down completely and then you can play with your you know your lips and see how tacky it is because I noticed when it was drying down and when I pressed my lips together my lipstick did transfer from the upper lip to the bottom lip and I had to again touch it up with my liquid lipstick it is quite comfortable I expected a two pound liquid lipstick to be extremely drying and I have to say that this is creamier than the sleek matte liquid lipsticks which is saying a lot because you guys know I really like the sleek matte liquid lipsticks but I can now see why this is completely sold out they are not liquid lipsticks that you can ignore they will make their presence felt but it's not too intense like for example this is kind of similar to regal from matte revolution but regal for me was a little more drying than this one on the inner corner i'm rating this a good 7.5 out of 10 because it is really comfortable and do stay tuned for the giveaway that i plan to give away for you guys as well this lipstick is going to be there in the giveaway so I hope you stay tuned for it you subscribe to my channel and say hi to me everywhere else until later bye for now